Welcome back to Earth from Space. Today, the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission takes us over part of the Amazon rainforest in the Amazonas, the largest state in Brazil. As its name implies, the Amazonas is almost entirely covered by the Amazon rainforest, the world's largest tropical rainforest with an area of around 6 million square kilometers. The Amazon is the world's richest and most varied biological reservoir, containing several million species of insects, birds, plants, and other forms of life. This image has been processed using the infrared channel of the Sentinel-2 satellite, which makes the dense rainforest appear a bright green. This makes differences in vegetation coverage more evident than only using the visible channels of the satellite that our eyes are able to see. In the top of the image, the Juruá River, the most winding river in the Amazon basin, is visible. The river is turbid, with relatively high nutrient levels. The river here appears in shades of maroon and magenta, as the reflected sunlight from the water's surface consists of a mix of mainly blue and green, while the reflection in the near-infrared is almost zero, leading to the colors we see here. Several oxbow lakes can be seen flanking the river. Oxbow lakes are generally formed when rivers cut through a meander neck to shorten its course, causing the old channel to be blocked off, migrating away from the lake and creating a more direct route. Eurunepe, a settlement established in the 19th century as a hub for rubber production, is visible in the top left of the image. The Taraka River, a tributary of Juruá, can be seen in the left of the image. The Amazon rainforest is crucial for helping to regulate global warming, as the forests absorb millions of tons of carbon emissions every year. As plants grow, they remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and store it as biomass. This is then released back to the atmosphere through processes such as deforestation for agriculture and wildfires. Tracking changes in biomass is key to understanding the global carbon cycle and also for informing global climate models that help predict future change. Earth observation satellites have been instrumental in helping our understanding of this important process. New maps produced by ESA's Climate Change Initiative provide a global view of above-ground biomass and are pertinent in helping to support forest management, emissions reduction and sustainable development policy goals. ESA's upcoming biomass mission will provide crucial information about the state of our forests and how they are changing. The satellite will pierce through woodland canopies to perform a global survey of Earth's forests over the course of the satellite's mission.